Elliott Wave Theory is a technical analysis tool created by Ralph Nelson Elliott, published in his 1938 book titled The Wave Principle, where he noted social principles within market behavior. These social principles are trader psychology or crowd psychology that find their way into price patterns in the form of waves. Elliott stated, because man is subject to rhythmic procedure, calculations having to do with his activities can be projected far into the future with a justification and certainty heretofore unattainable. Elliot essentially asserts that since man is a habitable creature, his behaviors must be predictable because of patterns in behavior. His wave theory considers impulse and corrective waves in stock price, where the impulse waves help the stock move in the direction of the trend, while the corrective waves oppose the larger trend. The impulse waves consist of five waves with six points, while the corrective waves have three waves labeled ABC and four points. Now that we understand the Elliott wave, let's learn how to code this in Python. The goal is to automatically plot all valid Elliott waves in Python instead of manually trying to find these waves ourselves. First, let's import the Python packages that we need. We will use the SciPy library to find peaks and valleys in stocks closing price. An example package is the signal package, but we will be using the extrema package and I will import this one later. Now we need to collect historic stock price data. In this tutorial, I'll be using Alpha Vantage, which provides historic stock prices. We can use the getDaily function to get historical data, and we can name our columns open, high, low, close, and volume. Let's use Amazon as an example. We can reorder the date index to instead be ascending order, like what you would see if we used Yahoo Finance's API. Now we'll start writing the Elliott wave. We can use the Extrema package to find relative extreme points in stock price. Let's get the last 100 days of stock prices. Extrema lets us find relative extrema minima and maxima points in a 1D array using a given comparator function. Our array is our close price while np.less equal finds local minimas while np.greater equal finds local maximas. The order four sets how many neighbors on each side compare against our maxima and minima. Therefore, a point is a local maximum if it's greater than or equal to the four points before and after it. Now that our new min and max columns house our extremas, we can plot these against close price in a matplotlib chart to see what these inflection points look like. 
thanks to these extrema points, let's see if we can draw out Elliott waves. We've reviewed that Elliott waves have impulse and corrective waves. So let's create a custom Python function that can detect impulse waves for us. We can call it isValidImpulse. Function will take in a list of tuples. The tuple will house the date, time, and the stock price when the extrema point occurred. Then we will detect whether or not connecting these extrema points create a valid impulse wave. The rules for these waves are, the wave must follow the trend, i.e. if the current trend is up, then the wave must go up overall. Point two, price at point five must be the peak of the wave. And point three, price at point four must be greater than price at point two. These conditions are met, our custom function will return to a true value, else it will return a false value. Now we will create a for loop to go through all extrema points. We will consider six extrema points at a time to see whether all six points connected creates a valid impulse wave. We can plot our waves on a plot chart to see if our function is working. Our function seems to be working. Notice how at the beginning of 2025, we are in a uptrend for Amazon stock. We detected six extrema points and when connected form a wave. We can alter the logic in the custom impulse function to whatever we demand. Perhaps we want to consider that point three cannot be lower than point one like we see in this wave. What's great about Python is that we can customize our function to fit our own needs. For now, let's continue to corrective waves. We will write a similar function for corrective waves, except now these waves go against the current. So point A must be going down, 
point B goes up and point C goes down passing point A. We will consider three consecutive extrema points to see whether the points connected will create a corrective wave. We can plot these and see that Python detected three corrective waves in 2025. We now have impulse waves and corrective waves, but to get the final Elliott wave result that we want, we need to join these waves together. So let's create impulse corrective wave pairs by writing a nested for loop that detects whether or not these waves are less than or equal to five trading days apart. We can plot these pairs to finally get our Elliott waves. We can see an uptrend wave followed by a corrective downward wave in 2025. We can change the logic of these impulse and corrective waves to better fit our definitions of Elliott waves. Let's look at another example in 2023. We see numerous impulse waves in 2023 along with corrective waves throughout the year. We then find an impulse corrective wave pair in the final chart in 2023, where the impulse wave was followed by a correction period where the stock went down during an uptrend. After this correction period, we saw Amazon continue upward for the rest of 2023. Perhaps as an investor, if you believe Amazon in the long term, this correction wave period could have been a good entry point for long term positions. Elliott waves could also be used in downtrends where the impulse wave will be facing down and the correction period will be opposing the trend, therefore facing up. I hope you enjoyed this coding video with me today. In trend is not financial advice, but I hope you learned what Elliott waves are, how to code them in Python, and found the video helpful. If you did, consider hitting subscribe, like, and share the video so that others can enjoy and learn. Thank you for coding with me today, and I will see you all in the next one.